So we're in Foster at the moment in some curry. We've got a bit of stingray frames, a milk bottle here, a backpack with all our gear for the rest of the day. We're going to be chasing a couple beach worms just on the nice beach that you're seeing at the moment. So a nice little bit of a flat spot that we can go worming at. But at the moment, it's a Sunday Arvo. Not too bad, a little bit of a breeze. And if we can get a nice view. Well, soon as we the game plan. Well, beach worming at a completely new beach that we've never been to. We've looked at a couple of Facebook posts to see there's worms and what you find, Brian? It's not really too much. Nobody wants to give away general worming spots at all, but every beach has beach worms. You've just got to be lucky to actually, um, you've just got to try it out to find out if there are actually worms. But as I say, you'll find worms at every single beach along the east coast of Australia. While some beaches may have big worms, some are small, but we'll give it a go here because we want to get our bait set up for uh, the next episode, yeah. the next week. Uh, us trying to catch some jewfish around uh, Harrington, Old Bar, northern side of Foster. What would you say is the, um, the a very important tip for when people go beach worming? Important tip, just get good. Oh. Here's a good worming spot up here. Pretty flat part of the beach as far as the eye can see. Very hungry worms. Very hungry? Very hungry worms. I think it's a... There's another one there with them. That was a nice worm, Brian. Well, we got a nice first worm. Definitely not as long as that Nobby's one, eh? Not as long as Nobby's, but he's a good sized one. Nice bait for a nice jewfish at the late harbour session. Yeah, good stuff, mate. Try to get a few more worms and camera for you all. How are we feeling? You are. You've been a little bit rusty from not catching worms for a while, Sean. Yeah. See if you can uh, end the drought, end up with a nice one today. Yeah. Oh, there's a big one actually. See, it's a stingray. Yeah. Getting the bite it. Nah, too slow. Too slow. <laughs> not bad. Missed the first one. Yeah. I'll get back to that. Worm. This one's weird. This one's weird. What? This one's so weird. He's, he's, like, hung, he's eating the wrong way. Yeah, he's, he was he was crawling out the wrong way. Yeah, you got him. Oh, yeah. oh you got him that way. What the hell? So look, yeah, I got a feeling. Killed him on the way through because I pulled too hard. But hey, look, he's a nice worm. So. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Turns out the stingrays work as a beautiful bait for beach worms. 
I got my, what? I think you got, you got eight worms in an hour. Yeah. I got about 12, 13. 12 worms in an hour. Something like that. But it was a good session. Um, so definitely give it a try of Stingray. Or oh, next time we're going to try, what was the other fish? We're going to try a couple. Long toms. Well, we're just going to surprise you guys with uh, something a bit different next exactly. time. Exactly. Anyways, uh, that'll that's be all for today. And we'll see you in our next fishing trip in Foster. Get out of the way.